hi guys and welcome back to my channel so the ink that we're gonna do today is called Oxblood by Diamond it's a beautiful deep red definitely lives up to its name Oxblood now let's see how it behaves on paper here we go again I'm using a C1 speedball uh, nib to do my swatch and this came with the kit you get like c1 c2 c3 and c4 and you get this one and this one which i tried but i'm not that avid at it so i rather use the little one they gave me all right let's do this see the color literally looks like a nosebleed <laughs> It's weird I find nosebleed sexy. All right, let's see. Let me see if I can get a nice amount here. And hopefully this can do a, enough justice for it. Ooh, really? I love this red. Literally, like if I was writing in blood. And it darkens too, as it oxidizes with the oxygen in the air. Literally, like blood. Love this ink. Alright, time to write. Whoops, I am in. Ox blood. Beautiful ink. All right, now let's move on to the Tomoe River paper. While this dries. Look at that beautiful red. It's like reddish brown, but definitely more red than brown. All right. Oof. I spilled a little. All right. Definitely works better in this paper. Toma River is such a nice paper, but it takes ages to dry. Yet again, I am putting a lot of ink. Daya Min Oh 
Whoops. <laughs> Ox blood. So well behaved. Unfortunately, I don't know really how to write with these things. Hmm. That was Thymian Oxblood. Literally, looks like a nose bleed. And it dries kind of brownish um, red, which literally, if it was blood, literally just died. This book is coming along real well. Alright guys, well this was it for today. This is a really, really interesting, interesting ink. Can't wait to get me another vial of this one. It's such a beautiful ink. Such a creepy ink too, if you were to spill it somewhere. Anyway, this has been Firechild. Thanks for watching.